Hello everybody, Tripmon here, and welcome to The Outer Worlds. So you might have remembered, if you've been on my channel for a long time, I did start a playthrough of this a long time ago when it came out. And I, I never finished it for a lot of reasons. A lot of things. But with Starfield coming out, I just, I had to want to play this and actually beat it. So here we are, playing The Outer Worlds. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's jump on in, shall we? I gotta pick my... That's eh, fine. Oh, one second. I have the DLC. Alright. Let me check something first. Alright, and... New game. Story, use this mode if you want if you enjoy story more than combat. In story mode, enemies have less health and to do less damage. Fun. This is the recommended mode for your first play, play session. In normal mode, enemies have standard health and damage. This mode is for players who are looking for an extra challenge. In hard mode, enemies have more health and do more damage. Supernova. Supernova mode is the hardest difficulty and can only be selected at the start of the game, and is recommended for advanced players. And I'll just go with hard. Hard sounds fun. Alright, yeah. Subtitles on. Okay. Da -da. No, cinematic subtitles on. That should be fine for now. Wait. Oh! Uh, let's go with, uh... Let's go with one. One's... Not two. Two. Two's good. The Halcyon! Ooh. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come Ooh. to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. <laughs> Over a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Uh huh. Wait, why does that need subtitles? Uh oh. Come on. It's broke, come on! There we go. Hmm. Maybe I should turn off cinematic subtitles. <laughs> of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. E oh. Okay, time to wake him up. Alright, or just one. Okay, let's see here. Uh, body strength, strength effects, melee weapon damage, and the amount you can carry. Good. 10% melee. Very low likelihood of explosive cell death. <laughs> Very no, I don't. Uh, let's see. Uh, charm. I always am a charmer. You could get away with all sorts of illegal activity. I could. What's temperament do? Okay, it's uh, intelligence. Okay, science, determination, perception, handguns, long guns, heavy weapons, dodge, lockpicking, and engineering. It also buffs headshot, critical, melee weapon, attack speed, range attack speed, reload, carry capacity, okay, and charm, companion ability, refresh, positive faction reputation reactions, negative faction reputation reactions, 
temperament. Two health regeneration per set. Mmm, that is, that is good. Oh dear. Oh! Did you actually punch out your anger, counselor? <laughs> oh no! What's this? You won't be quite so boring after you've saved the entire colony. <laughs> You're about as subtle as the Spacer's Choice mascot. Oh, the, the moon, the moon! You took a few blows to the brain pan. Hey. Why, well, you get less hmm. critical? I'll have to use smaller words around you. Okay. I hope you're ready to shoulder a burden, friend. Could you you're easily brainwashed? Glad I found you before the board did. Oh boy, that would be. Uh, I don't think you could do that. That'd be funny though. <laughs> wow, mean. Wow, mean indeed. Okay, I gotta think here. I want to go charm because I always like. Wow, that's a... enough to give the chairman a run for his bits. Okay, well, what do I suck Ooh, at? They must have been feeding you Spacer's choice rations. Ew, that's actually really bad. I don't want that. A dexterity. You never did get used to the ship's gravity. Oh, that just affects weapon. Do that's not good either. You took a few blows to the brain pan. <laughs> Words are hard. Think no good. Dumb dialogue option. That'd be funny, but I kind of like science. Uh. You've run into your share of lampposts. Oh, this is hard. Maybe I shouldn't go all three. I you want a min max and the. Like, keeping average on everything is pretty okay, and going, like, maybe just going buffing two things entirely, or just, like, okay, keep you that. Let's do, like, one in that. Uh, lamp post hate trip. No, not the lamp post. Oh, my brain. Okay. Uh, okay, I could. I like engineer. Am I just going to not do any battle skills and just buff everything else? Okay, I, I don't... Okay. Lie, sneak, meta... I need lie... Oh, it's for lying. Oh, that helps lying? Ah. Oh. oh, this helps persuade? Oh. I'm so... Okay, let's go, like, massive charm and then one the other three. And then I just... I just am not very good at fighting. <laughs> fighting? What? Who needs that? Look, I get, I get handguns and long guns and heavy weapons. See, and I get more long guns and science. <laughs> Look, and two-handed melee there. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine only being able to lift 80 kilograms of... Oh, that's not good. Anyway. Oh, and now for... I have two points. Okay, what am I going to... Dialogue. Okay, dialog skills improve your ability to talk to, with NPCs, both in in and out of combat. Each point in dialogue significantly increases persuade, lie, and intimidate. Skills up to 50 points each. After 50, you can specialize by adding points directly to persuade, lie, and intimidate. Oh! You could probably talk your way out of a landing ticket. Okay, so you that's like a... You could probably talk your way out of a landing ticket. I am so persuasive. Okay, let's think here. Uh, we got tech, leadership. Uh, oh, I have. Oh. Okay, well, let's see what I got with dialogue right now. Oh, okay, we got 30, so we got cower humans have a 20% chance to lock, cower in fear for three seconds after the first time you hit them. Ooh! Scramble 50% so automatic. Automatic chemicals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you. <laughs> what? The robots will attack other people. I'm fine. Twenty percent chance creatures will become terrified and flee for ten seconds. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, what do I want to? I have one point to do a mass buff. We could do stealth. Okay, we could do. I could buff range to get like that. I bet you're vicious with a toss ball stick. Uh, like, oh, like I have a buff. My long gun would be really good. My hack's really high. My sneak and lock picking are not. Uh, tech. Medical. Mm, that'd be good. Science. Engineering. Well, that's also really good. Uh, am I going like charismatic tech guy? I think I'm going charismatic tech guy. Uh, let's see. Stealth. You get sneak attack though. Mm. 
Who needs melee? <laughs> uh, nerd trip money is real. Hey, I'm, I'm the charismatic nerd. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Oh, aptitudes. Mm, we get determination plus one. Oh, these are like little minor bonuses. Drink effect duration plus 3%. Whew. Farmer. Okay, let's take a look at these. It might be important. Okay. 1% determination. Drink. Block. Persuade. Ooh. Cashier. Subgrade. Non supervisory. <laughs> oh. Shock damage received. Negative 3%. Mm. Engineering. Factory worker. No ray damage. Re N ray? Food additive tester. Okay, Jan janitor, toss ball, medical, plasma damage, scientist, level zero, class A, sub sous chef, one-handed melee. Hmm, I could improve my one-handed melee by one point. Hmm. <laughs> oh, but seriously, um, level zero. You've cleaned out each test tube to develop a keen instinct for what goes in them and why. Maybe you didn't get in this business to mop up the leavings of failed experiments, but that's just part of the job! Even if you can't unsee what happens in the lab, you can at least learn from mistakes and enjoy some colorful nightmares. <laughs> okay, but no, I, I probably want the... More persuasion! Persuade. No transaction is finished without a smile! You live for the cut chunk of a bit cartridge getting inserted right inside up. The redemption of loyalty points and the promise of a good day. Come back real soon. Bye bye now. <laughs> Are more than empty words. They're a promise and a standard you intend on on carrying to the frontier. I am just a cashier. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, you know what? Give me the extra persuade. Handle bits for a living, huh? Okay. Uh, no, I'm a dude. Okay, face. Let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. All right, let's think here. Mm. Go for a default face for first and see what I can touch up. Um. Yeah, you're pretty okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, shades. I am a nerd. Pale. Okay. Eye color. Ooh, eye colors. What do we got? Ooh, do we have purple? We have a deep blue. Ooh, that's purple. It's not as I like the vibrant blue. Oh, brow horizontal. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, we'll leave that where it is. You know what? Forward there. I am always surprised. Okay, this is gonna be like Big eyes. <laughs> uh, let's leave a bunch of stuff the way it... Eh, make myself a... Yeah, let's do that. No... Yeah. Don't really want to mess with a lot of these settings. Take a look. Eh, big nose. Oh, okay. And we'll leave it at that. Hair time! Okay. Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Anything here catch my eye? You know what? Before I even pick a hair style, I should pick a hair color. Ooh. Dark purple? Ooh, that's nice. What shades do we got? How bright does it get? Ooh. Could go with a white hair. 
Now, where's that purple? This one. Yeah, this one. I like this one. <laughs> Eyebrow style. <laughs> Monobrow. Uh... Facial. Ooh. We go. Yes. Why would the facial hair color not match the beard? I mean, not the, the, the hair. There you go. Give yourself a beard. All right. Features. Makeup. <laughs> um. Is that Nathan Drake from Uncharted? I don't know. I got bruise and face paint. I'm ready for war. Bruising. Can I get scars? I always like a good scar on my character. Oh, scars are down there. This is makeup. Okay, dirt. Eh, nah, I don't like no dirt. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh. It's a lip scar. Classic. I think it's a burn. Oh, three slashes down the side of the face. Oh, that's the eye. That's a good spot. I think it's more burn. Ooh. That one's... N ooh, ooh, that one has like a double side. Like there's stuff on that side and there's stuff... Ooh. Where's the three slashes? Just one side? Three slashes on the cheek. Yeah, I'll go with the three slashes. I'm, I'm feeling that. Okay, eight. I'm the old man hero. <laughs> I'll, st I'll keep it there. All right. Name. What else will I call myself? I usually have a scar through the eyes because that's like the coolest thing ever. Nah, three slashes on the side of the face. We're going with the character here. Like I, my my scar is from my pet cat. <laughs> my cat did that to me. Okay, let's look at our stats. All right, we got Persuade 32, which is our highest stat. Actually, no, Science is our highest stat with 36. How did... Okay. All right. Let's start the game. All right. You've chosen your hero, Phineas. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Let's get out of here! Oh crap! Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, that's not good. Initiate skip jump. Skip what? Whoop. Well, he's gone. <laughs> Terror 2, orbiting laboratory, Halcyon system. That's, that's not good. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. Shit. Well, uh, oh, what? Uh, hey, what's happening? Are we there? Ah, there you are. Hey, Wondering what's going on, eh? Yeah. A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. What? Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means oh. that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. What? Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Oh. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, 
<laughs> Not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Yeah? Hopefully? I'm awake now. <laughs> I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. Oh. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. Oh. I'd see it done myself, of course. Okay. But the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Hey. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck. All right, wait. What do you mean good luck? Wait, what am I doing in here? What are you pushing? Ah! Wait, what's... Oh, ah, eh, eh. Ah! Remember the hope. I remember, it's over there. No one knows where it is. It's over there. Shut up. Can you hear me? Is this uh, thing uh, Yes! Ah, there you are. Hi! Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne. And okay. And he's waiting for you at the landing site. All right. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him. I'm sure. I'm sure I will. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Uh, okay. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Okay. Oh, dang. Um, is this a good idea? Fuck. Oh. Oh. Okay. There was no cushion. Where were my retro rockets? Ah. Uh, okay. Oh, it's a good thing. I know how to open this. Okay. Oh, I'm out. Oh, you've landed. Woo. Good. Okay. Should be close by. What in laws? Oh. Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand uh. holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. <laughs> he is he is dead. Hawthorne <laughs> won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? How how I'm sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. I mean shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. It's right on his head. Like, specifically, one arm and one head, and the, part of his upper torso is. He was holding the beacon! <laughs> Why was he holding it? God, that. I, I'm sorry, Hawthorne. You didn't deserve this. But, anyway. Civilization! Ah, fresh air! Time to test my sea legs. Trip, take his shoes and find the yellow brick road. That'll fix this. Of course, his, I can't take his shoes. All right, let's take it. That's the wrong button. Oh, I have a jump button. Yeah, screw you, log. Not even a second in the gameplay, you killed someone. It was an accident. And second, <clears throat> gotta get under this. All right, we're good. Hello there, little fella. Aren't you adorable? How long can you try to kill me? Oh, yeah. Get my sea legs. I've been sleeping for 70 years. I gotta whew, see if I can still run. Hey, how's it? Oh. I hear noises. Uh, hey there. I'll take that. Uh, oh, what are those? What are those? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, woo. You didn't see anything. And no, Jojo, not yet. Oh, didn't see me at all. Just gonna, oh. And I'm free. Later. Okay. What? Oh, my ah! Ah, my 
the hell? Water. What? You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Okay. I don't know what that was. But I'm okay with that. Whoop, down the hole! Oh, God! My knees! My knees! Mm. Oh, oh, I feel better. I feel better. I feel better. Okay. Hi, how's it going? Hey, you. Come here. All right. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Hey, pal, how's it going? Medical 5, sit still, I'll patch you up. What happened to you? Spacer's what? Hey, dude, dude, chill, I'll, I'll help you. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Mm -hmm. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Really? How are you feeling? What happened to you? Spacer's what? <laughs> How are you feeling? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Mm. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Uh -huh. I just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Right. Marauders? What's this about marauders? What were you doing out here? You're hiding in a cave, and you've blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. What is this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics <laughs> with guns. <laughs> Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Oh. Not bad, huh? Fair. Persuade one. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun, and I'll go help. Uh, someone grounded their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down for you. Intimidate. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. <laughs> no, no. Give me your gun. I'll go do it. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber, too, for patching me up and all. Oh, you're welcome. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed at that time. <laughs> Dude. Seriously? I, 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 so, Spacer's choice is the cheap weapons that, that blow up in your side. Okay. Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's choice community. Mm. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Ah. Do, do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. All right. Well, I'm off. I have a gun! I'm going to look around for more stuff. That's mine now. That's mine now. That's mine. It's not saying I'm stealing it, so I'm just taking it. Oh, that's mine. <gasps> Pre-sliced bread? Why does it only have one E? That's mine. Fast up rations. Ooh, another mag. Anything behind this? Yeah. Go over here. Yeah. Okay, I could blow the thing up. Or I could keep looking around for goodies hidden behind the wall. How do I switch weapons? Okay. Let's zoom. That's heal, I wasted it. That's melee. Okay, nothing there, so. Bada boom! Yes. I'm sorry, Phineas. I can't hear you right now. Oh, uh, another brain blast! 
slow motion. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Present the tactical time dilation, TTD, button slows down the world, giving you time to think. As well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly. While moving and attacking drains it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. R1 for tactical time dilation. All right. Okay. All right. He's snarling. How do I... Kinda wanna sneak it. There's another guy there too. Can I just like sneak attack him? Hi. Get away! Bye. Bye, oh, you have a friend. Hi there, friend. That worked. You have nothing. Okay, let's check the goods. What do you got? Ooh, we got some mock apple and some bunch bunch of nanners. Or these mag oh hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lock picking skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer en encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need to and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and the speed up the process. Alright. Oh, it takes... It takes five! I only have three! Four! Is there another one around here? Um... Ooh! Fish sticks! Up here? I can't even open that. Disappointed! Let's go see if I have another one. Okay. All right. I keep forgetting that's the Oh boy. Breathe! Oh, I'm dead. You know, that's what I get for not... Oh, wait. Oh, I have to reload. How far back am I going? Okay, I'm going back here. Okay, so that's my weapons. Okay, where's my T and L? Do you know weapon safety training? Weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by navigating the to the weapon, then selecting the weapon slot on the on the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them for as junk, or break them down for parts. Play players with an engineering skill can repair weapons on the screen as well. Take care of your TNL's weapons and they'll take care of your enemies. Okay, I have a saber. Okay. Okay, that's how I swap. Alright, let's see if I can actually stealth this. I guess block. He didn't see anything. Give me the stuff. He's mine. Okay, I've read this already. Wait, do I have enough now? I do! What the heck? How did I get more of this? T Was there another one? Did I miss it last time? Telescoping staff. Okay, let's take a look at this. Do I do more damage with this? I do, so I'm going to use it instead. Yeah, 
It's a Spacer's Choice Mall! Alright. Hello there, friend. How you doing? Whap! Whap! And whap! Woo! He did! Okay, I can't collect these mushrooms, which makes me sad. I should be able to collect those. They look collectible. Okay. Alright. Okay, we're saving now. Die! To my mall! Give me that. <laughs> Super sneaky mall time. Super sneaky mall. Going stealth all the way with my giant hammer of death. Turn around, turn around, turn around right now. Turn around, round, 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 round. I did. You noticed the dead body. How did you... Take that! And that! Ah, oh, crap. Take that! Yeah! Wow, that was actually really easy. I'm actually really surprised that was so easy. A giant metal stick was better than a gun. <laughs> Am I good? Anybody else? Don't look like it. All right. <gasps> Is that a ship? Hoorah! Ugh. Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Uh, okay. You gonna kill me? I'm hiding behind this rock. No? Okay. Hi, right, how's it going? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, hmm. landing violators. <laughs> Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Uh, it, it's just a landing violation. Let it go. So I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. I've already dealt with a few of these marauders. Not impressed. <laughs> hey, your friend's locked up. Really? How is he? Uh, he'll make it. I helped him with the pain. Still a moron. I'm hoping. I'm hoping you're a little brighter. <laughs> Why is this so mean? I helped him with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense, I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Uh-huh. Stretch my legs some. Right. Also, so you're going to punish him for taking a bullet out of his side? What? Okay, do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? I bet you would get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Because I have to give you a zero on my customer satisfactory survey! Woo! Don't worry, you sit tight, I'll handle it. Coward, I'll do it myself. <laughs> yes. Seriously? But those marauders. Will... <laughs> you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fun. Fucking laminated. LAMINATED! Here we go. You ready? You ready, dude? It's Sam. Sam's ready. You guys okay? Sam is not ready. Did you get him? Did, did you get him? Give me those clothes. Give me your clothes. Where's Sam? 
Oh, Sam giving your stuff? <laughs> Thanks, Sam! Oh, did I get you? Yeah. It's frickin' laminated, man. Seriously laminated. Ooh. Well, hello there. I'm just picking up all this free stuff. Ooh, what's that? There's the town, I assume. So, uh, how's it going? This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Yeah, I could go in... Can I go in the ship? I think I can go in the ship. I think I'm supposed to go in the ship. So that means I'm gonna go over here to that. Well, look at... What's that? Anyway, over here. What is that thing? I gotta look at it. What the heck is the, a primal? Frickin' hairless gorilla. Ooh, has an axe. Uh, resident. Oh, sorry, man. Hello, armor parts. <gasps> Shovel. I want. Why can't I have your hat? Give me your hat. Am I wearing a hat? Do I have a hat? Okay, this is a one-handed ma- I like hatchets, why is it one-handed? Shovel's two-handed. Not as good as my club, though. Alright, so we could go over there, but we gotta do this. Let's go in the ship. After I see what's over there. Which is right next to my ship. Uh, my ship? No, the Hawthorne ship. It's going my ship in a second, because I'm going to take it. I don't think she can stop me. Right? Right? I mean, it'd be a lot of paperwork to impound that entire ship, right? Oh, there are things over there. Yeah, I should, probably should go on with the story. <laughs> I'm not ready for things. Is that a thing, or is that just a rock? That's just a rock. I got a rock. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> ah. You can fast travel to locations you have unlocked by opening your map and selecting your destination. Ah, convenient. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Oh, hello. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous it's for locked. your health. Is it? There's a. Is that a. Is that a collapsible camera? Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Okay, you tracking this? Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, the including unreliable. the unreliable workbench. Where am I going? Marauder, please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. What about the engine? That is not a good engine. Nothing of value. It, it, what's it powered by? Please be advised that using the respecification machine will not make you a better person. <laughs> okay. All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. I mean, I try. Is there anything? Oh, is it the kitchen? Is there anything to eat? You gonna say anything about the kitchen? What if I get next to the fridge? You had food. It's my food now. Where's this go? Oh, this goes back here. Alright, so I guess I go the other way I haven't gone yet, which is where the green dot is. I broke your security system. <laughs> Hi! Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. <laughs> is it? Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Ah. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Oh, really? Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. That's not good. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I don't appreciate being talked to that way. What are you gonna do? Self destruct? Uh. Wait, wait, wait. Um. Wait. Wait, we're in the atmosphere. You realize we're on the ground, right? 
Is something supposed to happen? <laughs> now the top one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Ah, I need to get this ship in the air. Is this Hawthorne's ship? Is this Hawthorne's ship? I mean, it actually that's a good question, is it? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Oh, well, Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod! This game is savage! He's dead, I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Uh, okay, but I'm not Hawthorne. Hawthorne is dead. <laughs> I get it. You need to be Captain. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne, or you can't fly. But I'm not Captain Hawthorne. I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside this ship and experienced a permanent life-changing encounter. <laughs> the old you is dead. Welcome Ugh. back, Captain Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. Of course. My life... My life-changing experience. All right, let's get out of here, then. You don't understand. My name is Tripmon. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. No, I'm Tripmon. I'm not Hawthorne. I understand. You are going undercover with an alias. <laughs> I will update my discretion protocol accordingly. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Oh no. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. Oh. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Oh. But what am I supposed to find something where am I supposed to find something like that? Engineering 5. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of Ooh. certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Um, yeah, Ada. I get it. I got it. Thanks. Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. I like it. Knock it off with this, knock it off with this Captain Hawthorne nonsense. I can't take a hint. It is difficult for me to do so. I am programmed to accept commands from Captain Alex Hawthorne, after all. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I do like the fact she just kind of overdid her, like rewrote her program, but just going, yes, Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> You've been promoted, leveled up. Congratulations, you have gained enough experience to level up. Go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, giving you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to new perks every other level. Keep leveling up, and you'll be upper management material in no time. Alright, let's take a look. Anti-Cleo management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend and improve your skills. Spending a skill point on a cat core skill melee improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50 after 50 you can add points directly to specialized skills up to a hundred every skill point uh, skills skill improves as it grows but special unlocks bonuses occur every 20 points hmm. read each skill description to see what they are armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your levels this helps, or hurts, skill checks, and the skill's passive bonus, but won't give or take away, the skill unlocks. Alright. Okay. That's good to know. Alright. Oh, it's a bonus because of my... Wait. Why do I have a bonus? Oh, the hibernation suit! I get a one for my background. Okay, so my hibernation suit improves my science... My medical and my engineering. Got it. Okay, so doing that will just... I could just... 
No, 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 no. Let, 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 okay, let's actually be smart here. Um, let's actually get this to, like, 14. So that's spending, like, five of my points. Um, one dodge. Uh, up stealth one. I need 20. Hmm. All right, 34 in that. I'll actually, next level up, I'm just going to level up dialogue until it's like those two are 40. No, I'll do all three 40. Yeah. Okay. Auntie Cleo specialized management seminars. Selecting perks. Welcome to perk selection. On this screen, you can choose which perk you to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw, accepting acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. All right, Auntie wants you to be the best, you'll be your best to help her be the very best. Okay, okay let's take a look here. Uh, oh, 50% base health. That's actually a lot. Okay, let's see. Slow the world, 25% tactical dilation meter. Alone, walk speed, sprint speed. Hmm. Okay, ba -ba. Hmm. That's actually pretty good, but nah. 50 kilogram carry. I kind of need that. Okay. The fast travel while encumbered. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. Uh, ooh, 20% vendor. You know what? That's really good for early games, so I'm going to take that, because that seems like it's really good. Wait, did I not keep... Oh, I didn't keep that. Uh, okay. Do I need this? It is my literally my best weapon. Uh two-handed melee is my best weapon right now. Um up that a bit. <sighs> hmm. You know what? I didn't do it last time, so... Alright, now I just have to do a few more, and I get these two at level 40. I could just do six next time, and just get them all buffed up. Yeah, we'll go with that. Probably not a good idea. Combat dialogue abilities. You have unlocked a dialogue combat skill when attacking the correct type of target. They are automatically debilitated. Ooh. Alright. Okay, that's taken care of. Could have just pumped that all into strength so I have better clobbering power. So hey, I own the- Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. But I don't work for you. You've got it all wrong! I'm a starship safety inspector! Inspector, attack! Do you take down payment in wanton violation? <laughs> wanton violence, I mean. Really? After I patched up your friend? I don't have a job. You got it wrong! I'm a starship safety inspector. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. All right. Take care. I have more inspecting to do. How to find a power core. That is terrifying sounding. That thing is... What is that? That was not there before. Tr 
Trip, what are you doing? I'm saving. Why? Because we're about to die. Look at that! Oh, in its natural habitat. I don't know. Primal, but I don't think I should fight that. And it has something else here, too. I... This is a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna leave before I die. Like, I was thinking, like, oh, I'll just save and, like, then go die. Nah, no, I'd, I'd rather not risk it. Like, the primal was just the monkey with the axe in the head. That's... That's bigger. That's bigger. Okay. Oh, I guess this is the road. I love how, like, it looks so mismatched and, like... Oh, it's crazy. Browser well, should take that walking speed increase. He doesn't look friendly. Ah, he doesn't look friendly at all. You don't notice anything. He has a friend, really? What I miss? Oh, I'm dead. Thank you. I work really hard on those. You know, I work really hard on my guts. I I, I take very good care of them. I hope they look pretty. All right, you. Okay, let's switch back. To, let's switch to the gun. I know. I wonder if I can get like a little bit of a, a little bit of upward advantage on these punks. If I can walk up this mountain. Or I could just not fight them. But where's the fun in that? Ooh, this, this mountain's covered in moss. Moss! Alright. Where'd... I was like, where'd they go? Oh, 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 oh. I am not very good. There we go. He's dead. Oh, sorry. Did you... Ugh, that didn't work either. <laughs> it was worth a shot. This is what you get for not, like, leveling up your combat abilities. <laughs> and going for other abilities. Ugh. Persuasion's cool and all, but it's not worth anything. I don't like keep loading back to this guy. I need a better... I need a shotgun. I need a shotgun. A shotgun would be great. As soon as I find a shotgun, I'll be in nice, nice hands. Didn't see anything. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> no! Who did this? Someone hiding. Yes, Come someone hiding God. very well. The tripmon hunts his prey in the tall grass, hiding from view. 
They will soon forget of that I ever was here. That the friend ever had died. That I had ever done anything at all. And soon, they will join him. His plan was flawless. He would wait in the knee-high grass, holding a massive stick above the grass, which could easily be seen with a giant Spacer's Choice logo above it. But they would wait, and soon forget this had ever have happened. Now one of them needs to just leave so I can kill the other one, and then I can just... Now leave. One of you leave! Why are you- look at the rock wall at least! Let's risk it. How am I missing? Thank you. You got anything? No. No. Thank you. Alright. That worked out nicely. Ah. Gotta love the clobbering time. Think this ball's solid metal, or do you think it's like hollow? If it was solid metal, that'd probably be so heavy. <laughs> You know, this algae and stuff, the way the rocks are built, I feel like this ground is like usually underwater or something. I don't know why, I just get that feeling by looking around. Hmm. Oh! I found the cemetery. How do I put the sword, the weapon away? Can I put the weapon away? Do I just unequip stuff or something? Hmm. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Over the fence. Looking for loot stuff to loot from you guys. Anything on the ground? Anything good? Whoop. That's a dead body. Hi, Silas. How's it going? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Noticed. I'm just passing through. My pod crashed in the hill back there. How do you know I'm not a marauder? That's a fair question, but... Eh, my pod crashed back there in the hills. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Not it important. safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. <laughs> oh, I hear they're very low. Uh, I never got your name. I'm Tripmon. Do they pay you to chat with strangers? Lie. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. Is that why you've got a pair of armed guards? Um, I get the experience if I lie, though. <laughs> oh. But I was so, f so, like, I d I'm not Alex Hawthorne. I am Tripmon. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's mm. Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. In humor? Who do I talk to about Power Regulator? I'm looking to make a little money while I'm here. This place looks like it's falling to pieces. Junior in humor? If it's a title for a grave digger, I'll be on my way. Um. Yeah, I was really curious about this. Hey, I earned that fancy title. Started off a lowly junior gravesite builder, then junior interment engineer. Oh, and I was a junior burial assistant for a time. 
How long did that take to get to in humor? You seem pretty old to be a junior anything. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about something else. You seem pretty old. The rate I've been working, I'm bound to earn a promotion. Must be about 50, 60 burials away from associate in humor. <laughs> uh, who would I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. <laughs> if you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Uh, it depends on the work. You offer me a job? I do what I want. <laughs> you ask me, you're asking the wrong person. I'm not interested. Depends on the work. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. What? Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Huh. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Wait. You rent your grave? What? You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. You're making people people pay for their own graves? I mean, yeah, but rent? Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Let me ask you about something else. You want me to collect what people what's owed to you? I can do that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. All right. Why, why is Abernathy a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Alright. There's something else I wanted to ask you. Yeah? This town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. Oh, that's awful. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Uh-huh. You're not worried about falling sick? How long have you been a junior in humor? Gravedigger. Whatever. What do you mean falling? What? Sick? Sick with what? But no, seriously, how long? Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one... Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. That would be pretty hard. We lose a lot of people to marauders. Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Oh, if there's no one in the grave, the company don't get no money, right? Exactly. What are they after, loot? If you've got a marauder problem, I could take care of it. What are they after, loot? Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. What? If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. <laughs> so the bodies belong to Spacer's Choice. Uh, well, thanks for your time. Hello, corporate recruit. I can really go for some salt tuna. That sounds good. Huh? What? I wasn't dozing off. Ah, uh, sure you weren't, pal. Edgewater, Spacer's Choice, Spacer's Finest, Employment Community, uh, we could go straight inside, or we could just walk around outside for a bit, and explore and collect all... Okay, this is stealing. You didn't see anything. <gasps> Bread noodles. I don't have any mags. Hello. What's this? I'll take it. 
take that. And I'll take that. Anything in the toilet? Nope. <gasps> a mag! Oh wait, is this the Inhumer's house? Silas, I'm robbing you blind! One second, I'm gonna check something. TNL Equipment Maintenance Guidelines. Keeping your company gear in tip-top shape is expected, and something you're carrying needs repair. You can repair weapons and armor at the workbench using weapon armor parts. Get them from breaking down unwanted items. Players with an engineering skill can repair their gear without need of a workbench. Repairing an item turns it to 100% durability and full effectiveness. Ready to, ready to cause a prep cause or prevent maximum damage. Keep your office equipment in top, tip top shape for superior company efficiency. Okay, let's see. How many of these things do I got? I got like uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, I don't need these, so I'm going to break it down. I don't need one shovel. What's broken? Are you broken? Oh, really? What's broken? Is my armor broken? Armid Ballistics will keep your skin intact. Armor Management. To wear an armor or helmet item, navigate to the item and select it. You can also manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them, compare to other armors, tag them as junk, or drop them. Okay, what's this do? Uh, One-handed plus five. All right, because I got a Marauder Helmet. Uh, hmm. I don't know where I got that. Okay, what needs repaired? Oh, do I not have the skill? I bet I don't have the skill or something. No, I have it. Oh, wait, I was also curious. Um, let's go over the character. If I have... Uh, what skill do I need to, like, for steal stuff? Pickbox steal from humans. Ooh. I need that. Hmm. Probably gonna be that tree soon, too. Open, open, oxen free. Okay, this is the Inhumor's house. Actually, it's more just a workshop. Am I stealing his stuff? Yes. I need, wow, more stuff there. One-handed steel spades. Hmm. Early retirement. Do you want to end your years in luxury and comfort? Do you dream of walking beneath the val vaulted arches of Byzantium? Early retirement is finally here. Early retirement is your ticket to Byzantium. Early retirement is C Chairman Rockwell and Minister Clark's gift to you. Selection for the early retirement process is by lottery. Winners enjoy, eh, enjoy an all expense paid trip to their new life in Byzantium. The Jewel of Halcyon. Huh. Interesting. Good night. Ooh. Okay, when life gives you lemons, consider it a free trial for your friends of at Sage Spacer's Choice. Edgewater South Tuna Cannery. Spacer's Choice Property. Terminal access. Welcome, Junior in Humor. Messages from In Humor's Association. Spacer's Choice Human Resources. Return to Roots. All right. From a Humor Association to Spacer's Choice Junior and Humor, Emerald Vale Division. A special offer. Dear reader, your subscription to the Inhumor Association's newsletter has expired. We'd like to invite you to renew your subscription. Act now and we'll throw in a copy of your newest publication, Shovels, Gazette, and Qu Quarterly. <laughs> okay. All right. From Spacer's Choice Human Resources. All right. Edgewater Cemetery is a property of the Spacer's Cho Choice Company. The Spacer's Choice family takes care of its own, from the cradle to the grave. 
Gravesite plots and headstones are provided by Spacer's Choice at an affordable rate. Comfortable space, spacious plots. Uh, custom engraved headstones and monograms. Complimentary eulogy courtesy of the Order of Scientific Inquiry. Let your spirit rest in the privacy of a Spacer's Choice Parand gravesite. Oh. Inventory logs. Uh, burial invoice. Password. Bypass that. Burial invoice. Name, Theodore Granger. Cause of expiration, industrial accident. Burial status, successfully integrated in gravesite 13F. Gravesite's fees, paid and accounted. A humorous addendum. Teddy's corpse was missing at a hand. Deducted five bits from gravesite fee. Because I'm a kindly fellow. Okay. Alright. Done here. That was... Is there anything behind it? I'm curious. They're putting armor on the graves now. Was that a mausoleum? Can I go in it? Can I go in it? No. Thank you. That's mine now. Alright, I guess not enough beating around the bush. Let's head into Spacer's Choice Town. Lifetime net value, 8,112 bit. Why would you put that in the gravestone? Why? Why? I don't, why? Why? We're going in. Why? Why? Just, just why? Edgewater discovered 6,000 experience. Alright, time to rob this place blind while making friends along the way. Hmm. Okay. Trip, you're going behind the houses. I know, there's usually stuff back here. Like a dead body. Hey, in humor, I found a new guy! Rations yet? Yep. Two whole cans of salt tuna. Ooh. That's for like the day, right? Right? Had to get dinner, what I miss? Well, we just made it in to Edgewater. Why do you have a pole? This thing has saved my butt more times than I can count. It is one heck of a weapon. Spacer's Choice Cantina discovered. Hmm. I guess we should probably go through this place one place at a time. Get the whole town done. Okay, let's start, like, with the entrance and do the first, uh... Can't go in those buildings, so we'll go in this one. Hi. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Sick house? Hey, everybody! How you feeling? Hey, how's it going? I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Huh. Why not? I go where I want. I'll leave you be. Why not? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. You're, you're sick? What? Okay, I don't mind. Why? What's going on here? You make it sound like I'm being watched. <laughs> Look around my shoulder. The guard just slowly leans behind. A rat slowly leans behind the wall, too. <laughs> I'm being watched. The walls talk is all. We all got sights on each other. Any of us breaks company protocol. Boss is going to hear about it from six different mouths. E. Maybe you don't know this. But there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. I got a good immune system. <laughs> Medical five. 
I've got some training. I could take a look at you. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. For getting better? <laughs> That's stupid! That's still stupid! You obviously need help. Let me help you. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. What? Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. That, <laughs> that's ridiculous! You can't blame yourself because you fell sick? I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Rest. Rest, I'll leave you be. But that's still stupid! Why is this thing in here? This is a medical hazard! Get it out of here! What? Get out! All of you, get out! Out! This is a sick house! You are not making things better! What was... How you feeling? Okay, you rest. What were... Oh, you're dead! Thank you. Why couldn't I steal his hat? No one saw me take anything. You okay? I got like bread. Anyone want bread? I have bread. And plenty of food. What do you think you're doing? Darn it. Uh I'm just leaving. Uh nothing else. I'll pay you 30 bits to look the other way. <laughs> Bribe. You know, you made a real generous argument. Fair enough. Okay. <gasps> no! I have to fix that. Okay, nothing in that guy. Okay, that's not stealing. Oh! That person's dead! The person over there isn't. Alright, how do I improve my reputation? the rat. This is a sick house! There should be no vermin in the sick house! Now I gotta fix my reputation with Spacer's Choice. It's like I got caught stealing. And your rations yet? Yep. Two whole cans of salt tuna. Alright, let's take a look at the store. How's it going? It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Alright. Let's see what you're selling. I need to fix I need a, to fix a ship. You know where I could find parts? I have some questions. You know where you could find some parts? You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Alright. What you got? Music to my ears. Merton skill. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate price, but when buying and selling from vendors. What if they were doctor rats? No! Let's take a look here. Uh, we got a hammer here. I'm, I, I'm 35 short. Let's take a look at sell. What do I have to sell? Uh, 
don't need that. Wait. Should I sell it, though? I did steal a lot of this stuff. Does it register if I stole it? Like, these are, like, important questions. Hmm. Got mods, you got... Ooh, Spacer's Choice, the Maxwell. <gasps> Heavy weapon. Ooh. Their determination, intimidation. Hack plus seven. So buying every weapon, like, different sets of armor is a good idea, just for, like, a small, like, little buff to, like... To tech skills? Jeez. Give it one. Oh yeah, I have two guns. Do I? Yeah, I have two guns. Well, that's up my stealth skills. Hmm. I'll look at something. What's my stealth at? I get hack buff. Uh, if I get these to 15, then I can put that on it and just shoot up to 20 and get that those perks real fast. Sneak attacks bonus and doors and containers require one. Ooh, that's good. I gotta hack that to open it. That doesn't work. And I can't steal things from him because he's like standing right there. Trip, you're so bad. You're stealing everything. I am stealing things. Hi. It's stuff. I can use stuff. Hi. How's it going? Never seen you here before. You a visitor? I'm new in town. Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... To, uh... Where am I again? Uh, you're drunk, Edgewater. I've been asking myself that same question. Eh. Oh, I ask myself questions all the time. For example, why do we spend money on these fancy latrines when we have a perfectly good wall outside? I think you've had a little too much to drink. Shouldn't you be working? I'm leaving. I think you've had a bit much, friend. Oh, it's fine. I'm only on my third bottle. I don't start heaving up my guts as long as I can count to three. The company lets me imbibe as much zero-g brew as I can afford. Even gave me a discount on account of my injury. You jealous yet? Injury? You were injured? Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Ugh. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. The boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. Ah! Not a bad deal. You sound like you need a surgeon. Yeah. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. Uh? That's like surgery, but for your hair. Okay! You have a good one, Mr. Winslow. Eee. Remind me not to get hurt here. The latest report. She has a steel well, baton. Said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Cannery could use those extra hands. Huh. Nothing we can do about that. That's interesting. Sure yeah, there is. Zero G. <laughs> we could <can> drink. <laughs> How's it going? I don't know you. Yep, I'm new in town. I'm Tripmon, like Alexander Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. Excuse me. I'm Tripmon. Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. So, I don't barkeep. know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Huh. So you're not going to serve me a drink? Something going on here that I should know about? And what a fine establishment it is. 
could have fooled me. All I see are a bunch of drunken slobs and one ugly Bart. That is so mean. No, we're gonna go with the charm. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Sucks, man. Yes, I, I misreckoned you. Hmm. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. Oh, maybe I could help. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Fair. Fine by me. Let's see what's on what's on tap. Coming right up. All right, zero G. Plain and pure water. <laughs> Two-hour emergency brew. Trip, uh, trip teas, and dehyd dehydrated water. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Uh, we'll get you mostly drunk at half the price. Spacer's choice. Uh, I'll have a drink. I want to talk to Reed. Where can I find him? Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson? Try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery. And you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. Well, I don't work for him, so can't really fire me. So that like that like it's a good thing. There was something else I wanted to ask. You say that like it's a good thing. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. Hmm. Uh, there was something else I wanted to ask you. Go ahead. Uh, so what's your story? I don't see how that's any of your business. Fair. Persuade twenty one. I'm not trying to judge you, I'm just curious. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's worked Spacer's Choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. <laughs> Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. Uh, wh why not? Sounds like Spacer's Choice took care of you. You've been scrubbing dishes all your life. Perception. So you had a dream of being a scientist. What happened? Uh, so you had a dream. What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Oh. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like, when are you going to pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero-G? Science 5. Asking questions is the foundation of science. The best scientists ask too many. Sounds like Spacer's Choice took care of you. Nah, nah. Top one. Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's Choice put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. I am liking this town less and less. <laughs> Sounds like they took care of you. And you've been scrubbing dishes all your life? What's wrong with that? It's good, honest work. Pots and pans don't scrub themselves. Glasses don't fill themselves either. Unless you're in Byzantium. I hear everything's automated there. Not that I'll ever find out. Well, they look like they took care of you. They did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. Thanks for the story. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. So, what's your story? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. I'll tell you some other time. Not one I'm willing to share. I'm still trying to figure that out. What's there to figure out? Stands to reason you work for a company. You ain't Spacer's choice. Could be you're with Auntie Cleo. Lie. That's right, I'm Auntie Cleo worker. I don't work for any company. It's more to life than company, company you work for. <laughs> she might actually hate that. That, um... Ooh, which one? It's one of these two. It's more to life. 
That's exactly the kind of crazy talk that comes from an overabundance of sobriety. Well, good luck trying to figure yourself out. Sounds like you'll need it. I'll figure it out. Man, you are really bad at lying. <laughs> I'm not bad. I'm actually really good at lying. I just don't want to lie <laughs> to most of the people. What if I told you I just got shot into space by by a crazy scientist? Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. No, seriously. Well, in that case, let's see what you have on tap. I wish it was a joke. Honestly, I don't even know where I am. I'm not joking. My skate pub landed in the hills. On top of a guy. <laughs> I'm not joking. Look, I don't know what you're blathering about. If you took a blow to your skull, you really should settle down with some zero G. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there. And I cannot tell you which I revile more. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. Yeah. It's almost sounds like you're afraid to go outside. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. I think it's a mistake living your life on someone else's terms. Woo! I suppose you've all got to do our we've all gotta do our jobs. I imagine you'd wanna go out of town. You won't nah, you'd want to go out of town. What with the plague and all. <laughs> um I'm gonna make her hate me. There you go with that thinking again. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's dangerous? I've said enough. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. I should go. Plague got you feeling woo- Let's see. I wonder if the reason why the Persuades has the Persuade symbol, like, no number, means I don't have a- Can I raise my Persuasion and check? Let's take a look. Okay, let's see. Armor. Stealth skills. Hmm. Anything here to take? Nope, just the bathroom. Need more of that stuff. I need more lock picking. Going to steal her robber blind. Hello. Excuse me, I'm just going up here. Okay, let's take a look around. Hello. That, come on, this is your room. Where's the science stuff? Gotta be something sciencey in here. I could sleep in her bed. I could take the soap. The soap. Oh, hello. Just taking everything. Okay, let's take a look here. No one saw anything, right? Right? Okay, so Xander's are more. Ooh! Secret loot! Wonder if I can walk on that. Oh, there's a sign in the way. Hmm. 
bunnies! How do I? Oh, I have to go through the back of the store, and the door's locked. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall sick. Don't think negative. Think positive. Hmm. Oh, it's a church, I think. Hi. I don't have time for this. Move along. No. I want to talk. Work fortifies the spirit. Our place in the universe is fixed. Ah. Talking to the good vicar always lifts up my spirits. A church of compliance. Okay. Work fortifies the spirit. Oh, this isn't stealing. I just took it. Can I take the skull? Anything behind the desk? No, there's nothing behind the desk. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must be on my way. Verity to you. Aw, oh, the anger. Look, you have two skulls. I want one of these skulls, man. And I'm assuming you're the vicar. Yep, yep. Vicar Max. All right, what do you got I can steal? Can I steal his... The thingy? I don't know what that is. Why does your chair kind of look like a baby stroller? <laughs> Hi. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. Hey, Max. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. The quickest way out of town. That one. I'm looking for a power regulator. How'd you know I'm an outsider? What sort of spiritual advice do you offer here? I just thought of something else. I need to do something. I'm looking for a power regulator. Mechanical tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Mm. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. And why is that? I've been outside. I'm not impressed. I can handle myself better than a vicar. <laughs> and why is that? Marauders are about. Though if you are planning on venturing outside, I do have a proposition that may interest you. Oh, really? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. Oh. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. Interesting. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Hmm. I think you got yourself a deal. A handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. Why would a vicar be after a banned heretical book? I assume you'll want to burn it once you've got your hands on it, of course. All very fascinating. I'm sure... But I've got to be going. Why do you want your hands on that book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Aha. Uh -huh. Making compelling argument. Seems to be... Seems to me the authorities would be interested to hear you're after this contraband text. I'll need to know a little more about this book before I agree to this. It's a handwritten journal. Ooh. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. Hmm. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. All right. We got a job. We have multiple jobs. We have side jobs, and we have to find that power regulator. All 
right, we got the Seltuna Cannery. That looks like an exit out of town. Tired? Tired. What's over here? Another dead body? Really should clean this place up in the corners, man. Like, hello. Oh, I need more mags. I need more mags. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Ooh. Huh? What are they in trouble with walking in there? Assuming that's the front door, Saltuna Cantina. Or cannery. It's Saltuna Cannery, it's probably like the uh, service entrance. Alright, where have I not been around here? Hey, you hear about Wilson? Heard Marauders got in. Oh. Just between us, Wilson deserted. <gasps> Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. You're kidding me. Damn. Always thought he was made of sterner stuff. I think he was plagued. Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Plagued? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of the soul to the... You moron. Pfft. Hey, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Hey. Hey. Carry on. Fair enough. Okay, anything in this corner, Rupi? Uh, ooh. Thank you. <gasps> Mag! Can I? It's glowing! I thought I could open it! <gasps> More mags! Hot dog. Mags, mags everywhere. What's this? The maintenance division. I don't know where I am, but I'm gonna rob it. I can't open that yet. Is that stealing? No, it's mine. Loss is not stealing, it's mine. Alright, just look around. Give me that. Slip that in my pocket. Hello there. Okay, a spacious choice property, maintenance division. Welcome, ho welcome, Hulkum P. There are currently three tickets open. Three, uh, currently three open trouble tickets. All right, trouble ticket one. Trouble ticket filled. Summary: AG loader serial zero zero two three seven four five. Failure on startup. <sighs> Status open. All right, steps to procedure: turn on engine. Try it again. Try it again. Kick the loader. Curse the inch. <laughs> Curse injured toes. <laughs> All right, C two. Okay, summary. Failure to, of main cannery production line at heat processing. Start pro, start production line according to schedule S-467-01A. Observe processing of cans. Follow first batch to heat processing stage. Alright. This issue has been open for zero days. Darn mechanicals. Open. Pri priority automatic... Auto mechanical reset reset to low by executive level admin rule applied by Thompson R. All right. Okay. Workbench. Welcome to the Crux 2000 Workbench. Workbench. The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready and in tip-top shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor the item that you want to work on. Then choose that. Choose what you want to do with to it. Ah, can't read sometimes. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod, or tinker to upgrade it. Okay. Okay, let's see. What's broken? Yes. I use that a lot. Wait, when did I get that? T 
tinker. Oh, I can make them better. What what happens when you max upgrade your shovel? Any plans for more Rune Factory 5? Manage to catch up uh, soon. Soon. Probably next week, maybe. Okay. What can I modify on this? I have nothing. How about you? Nothing. How about you? Hello? What does this do? Okay. Damage type. Oh, it changes the shock damage. That actually might be useful. Let's do it. Okay. After installation, this mod cannot be removed unless you have an injury. Oh, Virtuoso of 150! Dang. Well, now I have a shotgun. <gasps> oh, another one of these. Hold up. Did I need like one more of these to open this? I did. Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequences. Fair enough. Surprised it took you so long to give me that one, game. Like, like seriously, like, how long has it been and you've just now given me the... Like, how much stuff have I stolen? Ooh! Chinese checkers! Ooh. Another zap thing. I just used one, so I got another one. Perfect. Oh, hello. I need that. Ooh, a computer! A lot of stuff. All right. Mains Division Personal Terminal. Welcome, Hulkum Robert. Enter a keyword for re re record search, or hold down Control Alt F7 Enter to compose a new entry. Open last search. Last search in hum Indumati. Searching. Two records found. First entry. Indumati left Edgewater today. She's been re reassigned to Terra One. I kissed her goodbye at the platform, and asked if I ever see her again. We both knew the answer was no. Look up and think of me, as I as I look up and think of you. Ah. Okay, Robert. They wouldn't let me keep her, but I know you will raise her with love, perhaps more than I would make time for. You are patient and pr present in a way that I am not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Paravit Parvati. They tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you. What? She was actually born on July 7th. Make her feel special when I can't. She liked it when I sang to her. It was the only time she stopped crying. Okay. Turn to Root. Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Okay. Open last entry. I sat up la last night reading through the Young Spacer's Guide. Almost started reading it out loud. From habit. It's been ten years, but I still have parts of it memorized. Reckon I'll take the next volume into work at the cannery. There's an unused office where I've been taking my lunches. May as well read the whole thing again. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Yes, I'm robbing the food. Food is good. Especially in my... This isn't stealing either. It's not stolen. It's mine. See? All mine. No stolen. Theft? Never heard of it. It's mine in my pocket. Also, I'm gonna break my legs again. Wait, can I get around here? Or am I... Nope. Breaking legs. Wait, wait. Can I get over there? No! Ah! Ah! Uh, legs! Legs! I've been feeling pretty low these days. Uh-oh. Nothing I can do about that. Okay, constable. We still have to see the barber. Can I raid the trash can? You are acquiring goods for your adventure. Exactly! That's not theft. Hmm. 
Doc Maybell. What a Doc Maybell Burgess from the Spacer's Choice Department of Retirement. A writ of execution effective immediately for Maybell Burgess, former Spacer's Choice physician, condemned on charges of decrelication of duty, disappeared from Edgewater with two parcels of Adrena time, at large and dangerous, wanted for destruction of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, vandalism and unlicensed practice of medicine on seditious cr criminals? Generous bounty, payment on delivery, must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Reyes for details. Oh, my own name, huh? Wanted. Bert Bertie Cotton from the Spacer's Choice Department of Retirement. A writ of execution. Effective immediately for Bert Cotton, former vicar stationed in Edgewater Vicarage. No longer is in good standing with Hulsean Branch Order of Scientific Inquiry. At large for and dangerous. Wanted for destruction of company property. Murder of company workers in good standing. Sedition and unauthorized use of medical supplies. Generous bounty. Payment on delivery. Must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Reyes for details. And who's this one? Okay. Gilliam Gil Artem. Artrum. Antrum. The Spacer's Choice Department Retirement of a Writ of Execution. Effective immediately. For Gilliam Antrum. Former Spacer's Choice associate mechanic terminated from his position and escorted from Edgewater on grounds of unauthorized use of Adrena time. Wanted for destruction of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, theft, and unauthorized use of medical supplies. Generous bounty, payment on delivery. Must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Reyes for details. All right. We got that building. And, okay, so that building, the barber shop, this side of the street. We still have this stuff here. To look into but I think we'll look over here starting with the barber shop next time I'm gonna call here for an episode so yeah thank you all for joining me all right like comment subscribe and you YouTube side of things until next week see you all later toodles